What's going on guys? Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer. Today we're going to talk about the PlayStation 4 Pro and Sony and a place that we all equate with the two. PlayStation, Sony, Japan. For some reason, Japan has always been synonymous with Sony and PlayStation in my mind. After all, it's the birthplace of Sony and the PlayStation. And Shuhei Yoshida, of course, the man is there. That's where he's from. And so, you'd always expect that PlayStation is going to do very, very well in Japan. After all, the Xbox One, the Xbox 360 have all been disasters over in Japan. Well, the PlayStation 4 Pro, unbelievably, or maybe believably, depending on who you ask, is not doing very, very well over in Japan. Uh, and actually, the Nintendo 3DS is kind of kicking the PS4 Pro's ass right now. I'll drop a link in the description. 3DS trumps PlayStation. PS4 Pro struggles to break 10,000 in Japan within one week. Media create sales numbers for November 21st through November 27th are in for Japan. And as it turns out, the PlayStation 4 is trailing behind the 3DS yet again. The week's numbers show that the 3DS pushed out over 70,000 units in Japan during the week, whereas the PS4 Pro could just barely muster in 8,000 sales. Shared on NeoGAF, Media Create's figures for the end of November suggest that 3DS sales are still dominating charts. The chart reveals that the 3DS landed with 71,312 hardware sales during the week, 45,622 of which are going to the new 3DS. Meanwhile, the PlayStation 4 sold 33,859 units, with the PS4 Pro dragging in a meager 8,000 243 for a grand total of 42,102 PS4 family sales. Suffice to say, 3DS games are selling quite well in Japan alongside the handheld unit. Pokemon Sun and Moon ended the week with 375,665 sales, down from the 1,966,294 units that were previously moved, but still landing the Nintendo Hallmark into the national number one slot for the week. Meanwhile, in fifth place, Animal Crossing New Leaf welcome Amiibo Rest with an opening 16,916 units, proving that the franchise's Amiibo update is quite popular amongst Japanese fans. SD Gundam G Generations Genesis holds second and third place for the game's PlayStation Vita and PS4 release, respectively, with Samurai Warriors Sanada Maru performing quite well at fourth, sixth, and seventh for the game's PS4, PS Vita, and PS3 sales, too. But with only three PlayStation 4 titles claiming the week's top 10 slots, November 21st through November 27th was an uphill battle for Sony's flagship console. For the most part, Nintendo held their ground throughout the week. Well, another thing we have to equate with Japan is Nintendo. And uh, Nintendo, they rule the world. They rule Japan. And that is the way it's going to be. I think it's going to continue that way with Nintendo once that Switch hits in, uh, in March. But I am a little shocked by that. At first, when I first glanced the article, I was like, are you serious? The PS4 Pro only sold 10,000 units since release? Thank God. <laughs> it's only talking about uh, one week. But still, 8,000 in a week. Jeez, that's like a... Th Man, that's really like 1,200 a day. That's how the PlayStation 4 Pro is selling in Japan. And that's pretty abysmal. And one thing that's slightly misleading about this whole article is you're comparing Nintendo's 3DS against the PlayStation 4 Pro. I mean, the prices are very, very different. If it came down to price alone, people would buy the 3DS every time. You gotta spend 400 bucks for a PlayStation 4 Pro, you might have to spend 150 for a 3DS. So that's just the reality of the financials of the situation. But I am a little shocked to find out that PlayStation 4 Pro only moved 8,000 units uh, last week. That's phenomenal to me. Let's see what happens in the future. Hopefully Sony can find a way to make more people in Japan uh, excited about the PlayStation 4 Pro because as I said before, right now the PS4 Pro is a backwards compatibility upscale box and that's exactly what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can visit BeastlyGamer.com to do that. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.